Hello. Thanks for stopping by. I thought we'd continue on with our AM transmitter project. Uh, when we last left it, we had a nice little transmitter, uh, approximately 1300 kilohertz, good audio, but with absolutely no range. You had to have it like right inside or right on top of the radio type thing. Now, Doug over at Moslack, he has a radio station around 1300 kilohertz, so he wanted to know whether I could take and uh, change the frequency, so I took and modified it uh, for him to take and drop it down to 1000 kilohertz. Uh, I took out four of the one nanofarad capacitors, replaced that with two 4.7 nanofarad capacitors, come up with this circuit. And this is approximately a thousand kilohertz, you know, might be a little above, a little below, depending on your components or whatever. And so that worked well for him, except as usual, Doug's always a complainer. He wanted more power. So I went back to the drawing board and looked at this and looked at that and started working on different circuits or whatever, you know, and finally came up with something like this for him. No, not really. I think 500 watts would be too much even for Doug. Now I'm a ham radio operator. And so let's take a look at a block diagram of a typical uh, AM ham radio setup. And you see that we have a uh, oscillator, a RF amplifier, and an antenna tuner to get all the power out of the amplifier into the antenna. Now I did a video recently on modules or whatever and let's look at other circuits or whatever that use modules that we may be able to take and use. Uh, Don over at Restore Old Radios recently did an AM, uh, AM transmitter and this is a block diagram of what he had. He had an audio amplifier that fed into his oscillator and then ended up with just the uh, RF amplifier into the antenna. I told you I always keep an eye out to uh, use modules in the circuit, so let's take a look at his RF amplifier circuit since that's what we need. Uh, with his kind permission, this is his uh, RF amplifier circuit. The signal comes in J1 from the oscillator. It's amplified by the 2N3904, and it's fed out to the antenna. So that will take and do us fine for our RF amplifier. Also looking around at other circuits, uh, on the internet and stuff. I came across a rather simple uh, antenna matching circuit, antenna tuner, that's uh, basically two capacitors in, uh, and a single inductor. So let's see how we can take and put these all together to take and uh, try to get uh, our transmitter working better. Okay, first we have to get our three modules ready to work together. So we'll take and start off with our AM transmitter module. You notice I took the end where the antenna was connected. I have a hundred nanofarad capacitor and a 2K pot, so we can take and control what the output of the oscillator is into the uh, RF amplifier circuit. The RF amplifier circuit, I took out the final two capacitors that Don had because they're part of the antenna tuner circuit. And then the antenna tuner is basically ready to go as is. Now put all together we wind up with a full circuit that looks something like this. 
to the left we have our transmitter feeding into the RF amplifier and then feeding out into the antenna tuner. And on a perf board, it looks like this. Again, on the left, that's just the components of our RF amplifier, or, or, or excuse me, of our uh, AM transmitter that we had before. In the middle, we have the RF amplifier, and to the right is the antenna tuner circuit. Now, if you look close at the uh, antenna tuner circuit, you notice that some of the components appear to be in sockets, and that's because they are. Um, that's the hardest part of getting this ready to go, was finding what components was most efficient in coupling the transmitter to the uh, uh, nine foot of wire antenna. When working with the perf board, I find it handy to take and use uh, these single row round female headers you can take and break them off you know one at a time or you know as many as you need uh, for socketing components or whatever for when you're testing when you're putting components in and out rather than having to solder and resolder them all and then for a lot of connections like for the antenna connections I take and I use uh, DuPont style connectors and uh, with the, these kind of terminals soldered to the perf board. After we get everything assembled, we have to have some way to know when we have everything adjusted correctly. So again, looking around on the internet, I took and found this circuit, which is a simple RF meter. Uh, after you have your antenna connected, you take and connect this to the same point the antenna is connected uh, on the J1 side, ground on the other side, and J3 and J4 go to uh, a simple DC voltmeter. Um, this is what it looks like on perf board. And when you're adjusting, you're going to be adjusting the output capacitor for maximum reading. You want the maximum voltage to get the most signal out the antenna. So once everything is set up, there's two adjustments you're going to be making. On the schematic here, you can see there's a modulation adjustment and the antenna adjustment. On the perf board, they're here and here. You want to adjust the antenna to get your maximum reading on your voltmeter, and then take and listen to a radio a, a little ways away, like maybe like in the next room or you know eight ten feet away, and adjust the uh, modulation adjustment just to the point you don't want it distorted if you turn it too high you hear distortion in the audio you want it just just below that point where the audio distorts that's where you're going to be getting your hundred percent modulation and as you're adjusting you may find that you have to take and go back and forth between those two controls a couple times to get it maximized I hope I've done a good job of explaining how this circuit works and how to take and make it. Uh, if anybody has any questions on any part of it, just uh, leave me the question in the comment and uh, I'll see what I can do about clarifying anything that's wrong. I'd like to thank everybody again for stopping in. Have a good day.